welcome to day four at Harvest Key. Almost a Coco Key. Almost We're, did it already. This is Belize. This is Belize. Okay. Harvest Key, Norwegian's private island. Belize, we, not the Bahamas. Right. We will be going onshore, right there. I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, to zip line today, if Ooh. we can make the 20 minute walk in the heat to the meeting area. Remember, I'm a hard patient. Right <laughs> some of these clouds might stick around for our walk. Give us some cover. Uh, we'll see. This is Harvest Key. I see two beaches right here and right there. And I'm hoping there are more maybe on the other side because. You know, we got about 4,000 people on this, this uh, cruise. Right in the entrance of Harvest Key, you got all the little shower, which we need. Even though we got a cart, it is hot, 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 folks. Make sure you wear your sunscreen and your hat. And you are ready for some heat. Right as you walk in, you have your parasail tickets, your information, your beach villa check-in, and your wave runner check-in and tickets to your right. It appears signage is helpful. We're headed to the flight house. Let's walk around a little bit first. Because I saw a Harley Davidson store over here. We are here at... 9 a.m. and it looks like the shops are just now opening which is fine but if you come on you know pretty on the island extra early and expect the shops to already be open they may not be however the Harley Davidson shop is already open evidently there's a lot to do on this island because there's small boats ready to take you ATVs or wave runners rather <laughs> water ATVs Wave runners ready to take you. There's a Lady Allison, and uh, I can't read the Lady something. I can't see the name on the other one. As well as a Belizean Vibes and Abby. People are lining up here for their excursions. And this is a very obvious location. So if you already have an excursion planned on your ticket, it will tell you where to come. This is the pool area. Very nice. We will be getting in. JJ was wondering though if it was fresh water or salt water. We asked an employee and she didn't know. <laughs> so we'll have to get in to find out. There is the restaurant. That is Harvest Key Bar and Grill. So there's your swim up bar for the pool if you're interested. extremely large pool area there's this part of it where the swim up bar is and then there's a whole other second section over here here's the other section of the pool pretty good size again I don't know what the size is compared to 4,000 people coming off the ship <laughs> but it looks like a pretty nice pool area at this moment in time when there's maybe a few hundred off the ship. We are getting hooked up to Zipline. These are all the super helpful people. We were given do-rags. Do-rag for my solar panel. All right. And JJ can't see without his glasses on, so Johnny is kindly helping with a strap so he can actually see the views when he's ziplining. And we brought this big bag with us, and we they're giving us a locker that's included. So if you, you know, don't have anyone to keep your items, they do have lockers for you to put your bag in. Our main method of transportation to the island is by means of traversing. There are three it is easy to do, and I will show you the basic technique right here. You just ride across and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, one hand here, then the other on this side. Alright, sit on your harness, let's see how we're gonna work now. Okay, lean back a little. Here we go. This is beautiful. Look at this. You want to fix your group? Yes. Yeah, because I'll be what bending back a little bit. No, just tilt it a little bit. There you go. Thank you for that. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, Where do how I did hold you them? like it? Excellent! Sure, you got the zip line video. I do. Yeah. You didn't get scared? No, it's beautiful. Yeah, I thought I might at first. It's beautiful. Okay, I'll we'll car on this pole over that side. Mm -hmm. Okay, just one hand here, the other one over that side to stabilize yourself. Okay, and step out. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, enjoy the rest of the day. You just walk, huh? That's right. Just All walk. right, here we go, baby. <laughs> Woo! Old man walking. <laughs> Young man walking. <laughs> Engage your core. Yep. <laughs> I'm always telling him at the gym engage to engage your core. <laughs> Amen. We've been eating a lot on that ship. No more food for me. Oh, can I run? No, no. No, don't run. Don't run. <laughs> He's saying no, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, so you'll be walking the net bridge. Just put one hand here, the other one to the next side to stabilize yourself, okay? Okay. You can go ahead. Oh, okay. Just cross your hand. There you go. Okay, have a good one. Thanks! Excellent. What'd you make it like 30 seconds? I think, oh, I should have timed myself. <coughs> Rope. <coughs> Man, that took me two days. Yeah. It took you 30 minutes. Your camera is facing down. Oh, you okay. Put it a little bit up. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now, when, is this another zip line on the other side? Oh, yeah. Okay. See, I told you, it took me three minutes. It took her 30 seconds. <laughs> Pull up. Knees up. Knees up. And then you lean Ankles back. Ankles crossed. Lean back. Yep. Go. Have fun, man. Yeah! Alright, you swing around. Woo! She's excited. <laughs> this is our first big one. We've really? done we've done the little bitty ones on Royal Caribbean ships. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But those are really short. So oh. this is our first big one to ever do. Yeah. Alright. Woohoo! Thank you! Woohoo! Oh y'all, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Highly recommend it! Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, right? Wow. I hope you got the uh, locker key. I think, I, oh, seriously, I may have put it in the bag. Hope they have a, you bought a lock, Sherry. A lock. Oh my goodness, that's funny. What a beautiful place. A little tropical paradise here on earth. Whew, unbelievable. Love it.
I finally made it to the pool and just in time because I was about to sweat out of those leggings and zipline clothes. Now we're going to go get a fruity virgin drink. It's the pool party at Harvest Key. Not the first lesson learned on this private island, but probably the most important is they do not take your ship pass card. Like on other cruise lines private islands, they only take real money, like a credit card or cash. No, no ship card for payment. And I'm pleased to be making all of these mistakes for y'all because I get up there with my Discover card. I said, okay, I brought real money. So I order my drinks and he brings them to me and I hand him my Discover card and he says, oh, only Visa or MasterCard. <laughs> and so I have the drinks sitting in front of me and I ask him, oh, okay, so what do I do? He said, go ahead and take the drinks and bring me back. He gives me the ticket. It was like, uh, just so you know, at the bar, the Harvest Key bar, it was $8.93 for two virgin pina coladas. Not bad. How's your drink, mister? Uh, virgin pina colada. Awesome. You didn't think it was, though. So were you thinking I you were... sure. You were thinking you were smelling some... I thought my wife was trying to get me drunk and take advantage some of Some tricky tricky? Hey, she might. I know her. The pool area is over here where all the umbrellas are. And then right next door here you have the ocean. Lots and lots of loungers and some with the little clamshells. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it says for rent. So those cost extra. I'm assuming you can get that on the website. These umbrellas are included in your ocean view experience here on Harvest Key. And there are lots of loungers. There's not a single lounger free. We finally found some loungers at the, at the pool, but I'm not seeing any. Um, other than the one we people just left and so we happened to get some chairs but the sand is pretty soft and not super hot i can see some shells in it but it's not super hot and there's just rows and rows and i mean y'all can see rows and rows and rows there's a volleyball net down there where folks are playing but other than that it's just like all the way around chairs and umbrellas and I'm entering the water for y'all and it is not rocky it is sandy and cool and nice it is beautiful and then you can see all the palm trees and the island behind you this is a really nice private island there's a lighthouse over there from whence we zip lined now these lines right here the zip lines that you can see going across here are the Superman style of zip line. We did the sitting up style. You can buy both styles, both zip lines, if you will. This one here that goes across, I can't even see where it ends over there, but it goes across the lagoon, if you will, is what they refer to it. You can do both of the zip lines for 109 at this point in time. This is 2023. And you can do both of those for 109. I think ours cost. 80 for the both of us just sitting up just going across the more the more vegetative part of the island y'all could see from the video though it was beautiful the zip line was one of the most fun things i've ever done the beach is great though um it's a little cloudy water it's not you know super clean but that's some nice blue water out there y'all can see that and you can go I'm assuming you can go all the way out to that blue little reef that's out there the plastic reef that's set up people can go all the way out there and I'm seeing people with floaties the yellow floaties I'm assuming that they rented them here I mentioned that they have lockers and we got one 
So right here by the pool cabana check-in, they have a couple of sets of lockers actually, but they will check you in and give you a locker and give you a, you know, a thing to put around your wrist with the key. And we got a green wristband for the locker when we, when we zip lined. And so because we paid for the zip line, I think a locker just came with it. But because of this green wristband, we could get a locker anywhere on the island. Otherwise, I think a locker is $7. Did he say locker is $7? $7. Yeah. So you can get a locker anywhere on the island for $7. We did put our bag down beside our chair and we had no problems. Our, you know, our bag was still there. Again, we find that cruisers are generally very honest and nothing happened with our bags. We were smart enough to like put our wallets and this phone okay, set up, you know, in the locker, okay. um, credit cards and that kind of stuff. But our bag was still sitting there when we came back. We're doing a little trip around the gift shop. See what's in here. Looks like your typical t-shirts and hats, harvest key, t-shirts and oh, glass mugs and coffee mugs. All kind of t-shirts, collared shirts as well. Polos. Yeah, and shot glasses. I uh, don't know what those, some kind of bags down there. Little stuffed animals. Kids tees, bold bags. Jar full, you got koozies. Aprons. Nice little shop. And right across the way to the Moho Chocolate Factory and Gift Shop. Y'all know me. Y'all know I got to I got to check out my chocolate. Forget love. I'd rather fall in chocolate. That's what I'm talking about. T-shirts. Oh, soap. Body oils. Awesome story. Hello. Hi. Samples. Sure. I will try milk chocolate. And it's goodbye to Harvest Key. Until maybe the next time. We'll have to determine how much we like Norwegian and if we want to come back with them. It was a great island though, right? It is amazing. Yeah. Another tram ride. This is the way to do it. You get a little breeze and a nice view. We are back on board. Quick change. It <laughs> decided to try one of the MDRs for lunch. We're gonna try taste tonight at uh, today uh, for lunch because we did savor last night for dinner. So show them my new cat. We're gonna let you know. Show well, them my new okay, cat. we have to stop and look at the new cat. It. Yeah, that's what he feels like most of the time. Every day. <laughs> I think uh, I think we got that off Amazon, so we can link it down below for you if you're interested. As you saw on the sign, we cannot go to Taste or Savor or, or the Manhattan Room, I would assume, on Port Day lunch. I assume that's the rule. It's sending us up to Garden Cafe. I haven't really been doing food, like showing y'all the our food this cruise, but. I thought this was funny. You obviously just saw that we weren't able to go to an MDR on a port day, so we came to Garden Cafe. And JJ was bragging, bragging about the beef stew. So I went right up and got some beef stew and some mashed potatoes. However, I was really coming to Garden Cafe today to get a burger. <laughs> and so on the way I saw pizza, and then I saw a burger with pulled pork on it. And of course you have a burger, you gotta have french fries. So, this is a pretty odd conglomerate. The all-American dish. Review of Harvest Key. What's good? What's good is that the pool was amazing. Super. Right? Super. Big, plenty of room Beautiful. for everybody, even in the middle of the day. Right. Except loungers. Loungers were almost all taken. They were sparse. You know, that's true anywhere you go. And the pool itself, freshwater pool, and it was lovely. Yes. The beach soft sand entry no rocks did little, have some seashells a little murky water yeah but beautiful yeah the, so the the beach if you're a beach person beach 
Oh, it's also beautiful. The shops, fun. Had fun. a few shops. Lots of selections. Yep. The tram. Tram was excellent yes. service. Yep. Easily accessible. Yep. And it was right there, not a long line. Yep. Okay. Well, we we tip the driver each way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cons. Oh, if you hey, if you have a drink package on board the ship and you come here, right it is not island. transferable to the island. They do not take your ship card they on the island. They do not take your means, ship card either. Which means there is no free food on the island. No free food. There is no free drinks on the island. Even if you have a beverage package. So even, I mean, it's Norwegian's private island, but that just means people from off the ship aren't there except right. for employees. Correct. That doesn't mean all the benefits you get on the ship. Correct transferred to the island because they don't right they do not so that's not very good that's not very good yeah spend a lot of money on that beverage package it should just transfer right yeah. over and they should just use the ship card yeah anyway so really that's the only um it didn't have as many i mean if we're comparing it to like coco key or or even, coco k yeah even where you're from. The, you know rural caribbean's private islands um there's not as much to do near as much to do as on coco key right you know coco key's like the top of the top right for private islands they have disneyland of private lots islands of, yeah lots of things yeah so it wasn't as good right as many options but what they did have you know you heard her pros. landscaping so. is amazing yeah the very trees beautiful are lush. tropical yeah yeah and obviously we did not we have not done the zip line on royals private islands but the zip line here was amazing it was fun yeah even the old man survived i screamed like awesome. a girl but i survived it was awesome Okay, that's pretty much our pros and cons for Harvest Key, right? On a scale of uh, to one to ten. Yeah, on a scale of one to ten. I give it an eight. Yeah, because uh, Coco Key is probably a nine for us. Yeah. On Royal Caribbean, yeah. so this was a close. Yeah, this was a close second. It was an eight. Yeah, and if they had to transfer drink packages and use the cards and all that stuff, it'd have been a tie. Yeah, we are gonna chill, take showers, and nap. And then you can stay tuned to see our plans for the evening. We are ready. Our fancy dinner bag. <laughs> We're going to the Manhattan room, right? Correct. Which is, I think, the same menu as the other two, taste and savor, but a different like environment. Like they have a band and all that stuff. The so, ambiance. Yeah, let's go eat. We went down to the Manhattan room. I'm sorry, up. Because we were on six. Taste and Savor are on six. And Manhattan Room is one up on seven. So we went down there. Long, crazy long line. We've heard it's good. We got there right at six, right? right. And the, the line was all the way up. Anyway, it was super long. Um, but we have a 30-minute wait. And they gave us a beeper. Manhattan Room. If you can even hear me. Because it's super loud. I, I feel like I'm having to bend forward. Because it's super loud in here. It's very large. It's like the entire. Is this the front end or the back end? Aft. <laughs> the, the entire back end of the ship is this restaurant. It's very nice. But you're going to see everything from flip flops and shorts to. We saw a couple in a tuxedo. A guy was in a tuxedo. So maybe they were going to specialty dining. But. There is no formal night on that region, so you can make any night you want formal night. So you'll see everything in the world in here. But it's very loud and very dark and very large. And they have a band. They do have a band. If you can hear the And bass, they have a dance floor. The bass playing in the background. There's a band and a dance floor. And um, there'll be a show later on at like 8, 8.15? 8 something? I don't know if we'll still be here. It's almost 7, so we might still be here. Because we we don't even have appetizers yet, so it's a slow and easy go as uh, slow as you go dinner. We'll let you know how the food is. Post dinner review of the Manhattan Room. As you could hear, it was very very loud. Our friends though who are traveling with us said that last night they were there and it was not as loud. So who knows? It was very busy tonight. Yeah. Let's see. We had. Appetizer and dinner and dessert. You had fish. Was your fish good? Red snapper was excellent. Good. And I had the fettuccine alfredo shrimp again. I had that at Savor last night. It was really the only thing on the menu. That was a duo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really the only thing on the menu that flicks my back. So 
And it was good. It was excellent last night. So I thought, why don't I have it again tonight? Um, appetizer, you had some kind of salad? I did. Right? Mm -hmm. Was it good? It wasn't as spicy as I'd hoped. It was an Asian noodle salad. Noodle salad, yeah. Yeah. And I, I had... I typically like a little hotter, spicier. I had the clam corn chowder. Amazing. Excellent. And dessert, we both had carrot cake. Which was very unusual. If you're from the U.S., it was cake that had carrots in it, probably. It was not carrot cake. It was carrot <laughs> cake. It was not carrot cake. It was cake. not the traditional It was carrot, carrot cake. cake. It was not carrot cake. It was food food. Carrot cake. It was in a little round, you know, anyway. It just wasn't like slot, like you'd make a, was, a carrot cake and ice it with all the cream cheese in between. The cake itself tasted excellent. It was very good. But I was ready for some cream cheese sugar icing, people. That's what I was ready for. Mm -hmm. And Imagine that. I didn't get it. Nope. I didn't get the cream cheese off. Now we're trying to figure out what show to see or go watch because it is 8.10. So we missed the 7.30 showing in the theater. And so we're going to find us something to do. Even if it's taking a nap so I can sleep tonight. No, we're not taking another nap. We already got a nap today. So stay tuned. First time ever on a cruise at 8.40. There was absolutely nothing going on on of board. He <laughs> said of interest, of interest that we wanted to do. I'm I'm not kidding. We we Scott, well, I take that back. We went by a club. Um it was like a lounge that was in the walking in the walking area um that had like seriously 20 chairs and it had a one-hit wonder going on there with a musician who was going to be there. We got there tw 20 minutes before it was going to start, and all the chairs were taken. But there were only like 20 chairs. We couldn't believe it. I was like, why are you having a music entertainer in a 20-chair venue? Like, that's not even fair to passengers. Anyway. And a crazy drunk man tried to accost <laughs> my wife. I got a little... Psst. That's what it sounded like. Psst, psst, psst. It... it and I looked over at him, and then I looked at the other guy sitting on the couch, and he gave me some toothy, weird grin. And then and he JJ, had no teeth. <laughs> right? That's why I say toothy. And then JJ went over and embarrassed him. And, you know, said so anyway, whatever. That was in that was in that venue we wanted to watch the music in. But um, so we are just back in the cabin, uh, fixing to watch a movie. Like a Matt Damon movie. Chilling. Because there's just nothing going on. It's It was a very odd experience. We looked through, the, I was going to say menu. We looked through the schedule and thought, okay. You could stay up later and wait for things to come on the schedule that you did want to do. Like there's another show at 10 o'clock. And well, yeah, we are old and by 10 o'clock we'd be tired. <laughs> I guess we had a long day in the sun. I'm all sunburned, as y'all could probably tell. But anyway, so this is just close the day. We're just ending it. And we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Be blessed.